Each borrower will have a unique record in the Mortgages tab of your Be In Touch CRM. No matter how the record was added to your system, you can open them by clicking the borrower name links throughout Be In Touch including the dashboard, the mortgage record list, or anywhere else. This video will focus on editing and using existing borrower records. To learn more about adding mortgage records to your system, please watch the Mortgages tab training video. Each record has several tabs of information that you can add, edit, and use. To save any changes you make while editing a record, click the Update Record button at the top or bottom of the page. The first sub-tab, Contact Info, contains basic information for the borrower, including their address, co-borrower details, contact information, and social media links. The preferred language field can be set here to ensure they receive the most effective marketing material. A photo and logo can be uploaded for each record to personalize each borrower in your CRM. Specific details for the borrower's mortgage can be managed in the Mortgage Info sub-tab. Here, data fields are organized into collapsible sections that can be expanded or hidden by clicking the section header. The current status of collapsed and expanded fields can be saved for the record using the Save View option from the drop-down at the top of the record. The Mark as New option will make the record appear in bold in the mortgage record list as if it had not been opened yet. The area to the right will be an overview of the record in your system. The green buttons can be used to opt the borrower in or out for mailing, calling, emailing, or borrower portal communication. From the menu within the Borrower's Info section, the Portal Invite option can be used to invite the borrower to access their portal site. The menu above can be used to instantly send an email, letter, or SMS message to the borrower and or co-borrower if you have the requisite modules enabled. Any automated marketing campaigns that have triggered for this record will be listed in the Campaigns Borrower sub-tab. Campaigns that have been manually added to the record will also appear. Depending on your user permissions, buttons will appear above the list that can be used to start new campaigns or pause pending ones. Individual campaigns can be paused or resumed by clicking the Pause and Run options from the Actions column. To view the status of a campaign, simply click the campaign name. The Tasks sub-tab will display any tasks that have been linked to this record. New tasks can be added for this borrower by clicking the Add Task button. Existing tasks on the list can be rescheduled, marked Done, or canceled using the options in the Actions column. Above. Separate tabs are available for viewing pending tasks or all tasks from this borrower. Tasks created here will appear in the Tasks panel of the Dashboard tab. When you create a task from a borrower record, the task can be linked to that record. The In Processing tab is used to track the dates of each milestone the borrower reaches in the loan process. Dates can be modified manually here by changing information and clicking the Update button. If your CRM is set to sync with your LOS or other services, these dates will automatically update. Any changes to dates here can trigger relevant marketing campaigns. Any partners involved with a record will be listed in the Participants sub-tab. Partners can be added or removed from the record from this list using the links in the Actions column. Changes made to the record can be saved using the Update button, and email messages can be sent to selected partners using the Send Emails button. In the Documents sub-tab, files can be uploaded and managed for your own use or for transmission to clients. This list will show files that you and other users have uploaded, as well as those submitted via borrower portals. New files can be uploaded using the Add Document button. Here, the file can be selected, a brief description can be entered, and notifications can be sent to applicable clients and partners. The file will be added to the record list once you click the Upload Document button. Documents can also be requested by clicking the Request Documents button. Enter a description of the document you are requesting and a date by which the borrower needs to upload it. 
Checking the boxes below will send an email notification to the borrower and co-borrower once you click the Request Documents button. Any documents you have requested and that the borrower has uploaded to their borrower portal will be accessible in the Requested Documents list. If you routinely request similar sets of documents from your borrower, you can save them as a preset by clicking the Save Existing List as Preset button. You can then enter a name for the preset and click Save Preset. Later, you can click Document Requests Presets to choose a preset and instantly request all documents therein. If enabled, the Lead Farm subtab can be used to help grow your leads into deals. Borrowers who are not currently eligible for a loan can be placed into the Lead Farm for future communications and tracking. If a borrower has multiple loans in your record, you can switch between them using the Select Loan drop-down menu. Using the three dots to the left, new loans for a record can be added using the Add New Mortgage option, and additional loans can be removed from the record using the Delete This Mortgage option. In addition to the sub-tabs available in a record, a tracker column will appear to the right for each record. This tracker displays a list of all communication and events that have taken place between the borrower and your office, including tasks, marketing campaigns, emails, and more. The events on this list are customized for your account by your administrator. New tracker events can be added directly to the borrower record using the Add Event button. The type of event can be chosen from the drop-down menu, and a description can be entered. The checkboxes below can be used to make the event visible to the borrower and partner via portal site or to send email notifications to the borrower, co-borrower, and or participating partners. Any of these options can be set as the default for a new tracker events using the Save as Default button, and this default can be removed using the Reset button. The event will be added to the records tracker when you click the Add Event button. The box at the top of the tracker will show a quick summary of recent events involving this record. The number of each type of event will be displayed, and the types of event listed here can be selected using the Events drop-down menu below. Various communications can be easily generated using the Contact menu. The Quick Add menu can be used to manage and create tracker events that can be added to records with a single click. To change the number of recent events that appear in the tracker, click the I button to the right. 